Hello, my name is Sabrina Hesse and I am a product specialist in the Life Sciences Group at Shimatsu Scientific Instruments. Today, I will be going over how to acquire, process, and calibrate data collected on our MALDI 8020 and 8030 benchtop systems. Once you have a plate spotted with your standards, open MALDI Solutions and navigate to the Data Acquisition or Acquire tab and select Open Door in the software. You can check the status of the instrument's vacuum state in the software and you'll be able to see the LED on the front of the system change from blinking orange to blinking green once the door is unlocked. At this point, you can open the door on the front of the MALDI 8030 or 8020 and insert your sample plate. Once you have closed the door, the software should prompt you to confirm you have closed the door or you can select Close Door in the software. The LED status on the front of the system will blink in orange again and you'll be able to track the vacuum state in the software. Once the vacuum state has reached standby, the LED on the front of the unit will be a light blue color and the vacuum state in the acquisition tab will say Standby. You should now be able to see the plate in the camera view of the software located in the upper right corner of the screen. If you need to align your plate or change the plate type, navigate to the Target tab in MALDI Solutions. Selecting the Align Target option will allow you to set the stage positions of the top right, top left, and bottom left spots on your plate. Once your plate is aligned, navigate to the Acquire tab in the software. We will now run through the steps for data acquisition, processing, and calibration with our standard TOF2 mixture spotted with CHCA as a matrix. Make sure the tuning mode is set for linear. Set the mass range from 650 to 3600. For calibration, set the spots option to manual positioning and define the raster as a regular circle serpentine raster. The maximum spot outer diameter is 2,800 with 199 raster points. You may want to adjust the outer diameter of the target area depending on the amount of spreading you see in your spot in the camera view. The accumulate setting should be set to 5 shots to accumulate at a laser rep rate of 100 Hz. For calibration purposes, blast shots are not required. Make sure that data quality is not selected. Select a pulsed extract value of about two-thirds of the mass range. In this case, we can select 2,500. We should set our blinking to be below our targeted mass range, so we will set it at 550. A good starting laser power for lower mass range peptides is about 25 to 30. We will set the value at 25. Navigate to the spot with your standard by right-clicking on the camera view and selecting Go to Location. Input the location of your spot and verify that the location has changed in the bottom left of the camera view. Once you're sure that the crosshairs are centered on your spot, select Operate. The blue LED on the front of the system should start to blink and you'll see that the voltages are ramping. Once the vacuum state is in Operate, the light blue LED will have turned to dark blue. You can then select Fire to begin data acquisition. You can shift the center of your target area by clicking and moving the crosshairs in the camera view windows if you would like to analyze an area outside of the spot center. Once you have acquired your spectra, you will need to first process the data before calibrating. We will now move to the Data Processing tab, which is located to the right of the Acquire tab. For peptide calibration, a recommended baseline subtraction range is 3 to 15. Set a value in the Process tab, and then click on the Spectra button on the bottom right to apply the processing parameters. Make sure to zoom in on individual peaks of interest to see how your processing parameters affect your spectrum. For peptide calibration purposes, you should aim to see isotopic resolution in the peaks you will be using to calibrate. The smoothing method we will use is Gaussian. The recommended range for the smoothing filter width for peptides is 1 to 5. Try optimizing and applying values in this range to see how your spectrum changes. The peak delimiter method we will choose is threshold apex, which will label each peak at its highest intensity value. Apply all your changes and then confirm that each individual peak in the spectra looks good. 
Once you are satisfied with your processing parameters, save your acquisition file. Now we will navigate to the Calibrate tab. Select the option to load references. Search in your existing references for the applicable reference file. You can then scroll through the masses in the reference list. Make sure that the mass values in Dalton's are either average or monoisotopic based on the spectra you collected. If you need to add an additional calibrator, select Add Reference and you can input the mass value and description. To remove a calibrator from your reference list, select the red X next to the mass value of your calibrator. Once all the calibrators and values are set up correctly, you can select Save References if you want to reuse these calibrators in the future. In order to calibrate, zoom in on the spectra to peaks of interest. In this case, we will select the monoisotopic peak label for each calibrator. Once you have the peak label selected, click on the option to correct this mass. Using the drop-down toggle, select the applicable calibrator value and click on the green check mark to confirm your choice. Repeat this process for all peaks on your reference list. You can adjust your calibration tolerance next to the reference list. Once you have corrected the masses of each peak, select the button to the bottom right of the reference table to calibrate the spectra. There is the option for a linear fit, which would shift the entire spectra by a fixed value, or a non-linear fit calibration, which would proportionally shift different regions of the spectra based on the location and intensities of the calibrator peaks. Once you have successfully calibrated, you can save the calibration file. We have now gone through the process of loading a calibration plate into the system, acquiring your MALDI data, processing the spectra, and calibrating. For more information about Shimatsu MALDI instruments and related products, visit us at www.maldi.com. Thank you very much. Excellence in Science, Shimazu.